I'm gonna do something I have never done on the history of this channel. In today's video, I'm gonna get out of this chair and show you around my studio. You're gonna see a whole lot from Funko Pops to video games to Pokemon cards to literally everything that gives us great joy. And before we get started, I just want to say welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we talk all things video games, comic books, Pokemon, and so much more. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another episode like this. And before we move on, I just want to let you know that I will be doing a free giveaway. I will be giving away a set of Pokemon cards from my own collection. All you have to do to enter this free giveaway is to simply like this video, drop a comment down below, let me know what your favorite Pokemon is, and make sure you're subscribed so you can see who the giveaway winner is. All right, you guys, so I figured I'd start us off with our pop collection. So let's take a quick look at most of our pops. So these are all of our Marvel pops. We got some uh, Dragon Ball Z right there. We have some more in another spot. And then we have some various kind of stuff, um, you know, Game of Thrones, Disney stuff. Moving over to Doctor Who. And then all the way over here is DC. So we're just gonna kind of, yeah, DC, anime, and then there's some other stuff too so so moving over here um a lot of these are just really you know fun marvel pops that i've kind of recently picked up um not just me my wife and i we've picked up recently um probably in the last year or so i would say um probably the oldest one here um, is that Ant-Man and the Yellow Jacket. Um, we got those when those originally came out with the first Ant-Man movie. Um, but the rest of these, I would say we've gotten all in the last year. So, um, and we've gotten more pops as well, but those are kind of our most recent ones. Um, started getting into some of the Infinity Warp stuff, uh, just they were on clearance. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then uh, my wife is a big fan of Vegeta. Um, and so we picked uh, the big Vegeta up at GameStop and then we went to a con recently and picked up uh, that training Vegeta there. Um, she surprised me one day with this Moon Knight uh, pop here that has the original cover of his first solo run. Uh, or was that his first appearance? Uh, I think that was his first solo run. I'd have to look at it. Um, I don't remember offhand. Uh, and then we are big fans of the Death Note anime. so. Uh, we went to a con recently um, and got some cool various stuff, but at one of the vendors that we went to, um, and I'm totally blanking on her name, um, but she did an incredible job doing this Ryuk, um, you know, little encasement here. So this is pretty cool. For those of you that are familiar with Ryuk, uh, that's, yeah, just awesome character from Death Note. Uh, and then we have some more pops right here. Uh, so just above the TV, and I'll kind of back up a little bit. Um, so this is kind of what we're looking at when we're sitting in this chair here. And so we're watching the TV and then uh, we have some more pops right up here. Um, and we have some various Age of Ultron stuff, um, some recent Loki stuff, and then an older Thor right there. Um, pretty much this stuff we got when they originally released. Um, so yeah, we're just excited to have held on to them. Um, some relatively newer DC stuff right here. The Flash um, from season two, I wanna say. Um, and then some Arrow stuff right here. Um, Arrow, fun fact, uh, Arrow is the first thing that my wife and I uh, kind of bonded over. So um, I was a big fan of the Arrow show. It was probably in seasons like, I wanna say season three um, and I just, you know, suggested we were just hanging out as friends and I just like suggested, hey, let's watch Arrow. So we started watching the first season and uh, she absolutely loved it. And it was just a really cool thing for us to bond over. Um, and yeah, it just, I could go on for that uh, for a long time, but it's just really awesome that we uh, just really bonded over that. And that's been something that we uh, just, you know, really fond memory. Um, she also, uh, dressed up as Felicity Smoke one year for Halloween, so this was uh, part of her costume there. Um, and then you'll kind of see some little, little, little figurines right up here. Uh, most of these are from like the dollar store or like Happy Meal toys. Um, and so like, well, you know, some of the uh, the toys back here are like Happy Meal toys. There's Goose, Nick Fury, Captain uh, Captain Marvel, and I always forget her name, but she's from the Eternals. Uh, Fastos up there. 
We've got Thor and Nebula, and then some. Uh, we've got a Stormtrooper and then a Kylo Ren right there. Um, and then, yeah, most of these are basically just, you know, dollar store figurines, different uh, SpongeBob's. Got Aladdin back there, got Bo Peep, um, Power Rangers, obviously. Incredible. So, yeah, just little stuff from the dollar store that we're just, as we're walking around, we're just uh, really appreciating. And then here's some kind of um, random Pokemon stuff that we're just really thrilled that we got. Um, so, we got this really cool 3D printed um, resin statue. Actually, I don't know if it's 3D printed or if it's resin. I don't know if it's one or the other. Um, but it's just this really cool statue here of the king himself, Charizard. Um, it's really cool. It's kind of translucent and you can kind of, I don't know, the lighting might not be the best, but it's kind of kind of translucent. So you can see through it. If light shines through it, it just looks really awesome. Um, a large Shaman V-Star card from the, uh, the Shaman V-Star premium collection box. Uh, Pokemon Crystal. Um, the Charizard promo from the Charizard EX Premium Collection, and the best, yes, the best evolution, Sylveon. Fight me. All right, um, next up we got some video games here. So, um, these are all of our code cards that we have recently pulled from all of the packs and premium collections and stuff like that. So they're all just kind of chilling in one spot here. Um, me, uh, my kids, uh, my wife and my kids made this uh, sign for me, You Are My Father, uh, from uh, Star Wars. Uh, they made this for me for Father's Day. Uh, I think it was last year. Um, so just really cool to just kind of have here. Um, and I'm just going to kind of move this to the side. Um, got some older uh, Genesis games. I'll go over the game systems in a second that I have. Um, but uh, Sonic 2. Um, I have Sonic 1 somewhere. I don't know where it is. Huh. Yeah, I think I might have lost Sonic 1. I don't know where it is. Um, but yeah, so we have Sonic 2, Street Fighter 2, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and uh, the Sega Genesis version, as well as the uh, Super Nintendo version. All right, here is my PS4 collection. So as you can see here, these are kind of filled with all the games that I am personally interested in. Um, the ones that are sealed, I either haven't played yet or I have a digital copy. And so that's actually Final Fantasy 15 right there, but the siding is kind of etched off. That's the deluxe edition. Um, but yeah, I either have the digital edition and I just wanted the physical edition too, uh, or I just haven't played it. Like Cyberpunk, I haven't played yet, but I got it for like $10 brand new. And I just thought it was like a really cool thing to get like a $10 game brand new and sealed. I think it's like the deluxe edition too, or it, it's a little bit more upgraded than just the base standard edition. Um, but I, I don't know, I just, and it's one of those games that like had such a horrendously terrible launch that just, I don't know. It's just cool to kind of think about and, and look back at and, you know, maybe 20 years from now to have a really awesome cult following. I know that there's people that really love it now, um, but, you know, who knows where it'll be uh, 10, 20 years ago, uh, 10, 20 years from now. And actually, uh, this game, I just want to give a quick shout out to. Uh, this is Nexomon Extinction. If you like Pokemon at all, um, and if you're on this channel for our Pokemon content, then obviously you like Pokemon. Uh, but this is a great uh, Pokemon-esque game where you're basically collecting monsters and just leveling the, them up and evolving them. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, and it's, uh, it's to say that it's a Pokemon clone kind of does it a disservice. Um, oh, I also have Spider-Man 2. Uh, for PS5, I just don't have it on the shelf here. It's in another room, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of point that out. And I do have um, God of War Ragnarok as well, digital edition. Did not pick up the physical, but uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, Nexomon is just a great game. Um, just It's like $20 brand new. Like if you like Pokemon at all, pick it up, please. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and definitely, you know, support some of the smaller titles and stuff like that. It's just, it's a lot of fun. Um, here are my PS5 games, most of them. Um, I do have a couple of digital ones. Like I said, I have God of War Ragnarok uh, and a couple other ones um, that I just can't think of at the moment. Um, but these are the ones I have for right now. Um, now here is kind of our Pokemon area. And then we have some older Wii games. Uh, a small assortment of our Nintendo Switch games. I have a lot more in the living room. Uh, we play the Nintendo Switch mostly in the living room. Um, but here is an Elite Trainer Box for the 151 collection. Obviously the premium collection right here. 
Um, got some other, uh, another ETB right there for 151 and Paul Day Evolved. Um, uh, one of the little binders that you can get at Walgreens um, that my wife got as like a stocking stuffer. Um, so just kind of putting random uh, Paul Day Evolved packs and stuff like that um, in here, just kind of putting the hollows and the reverse hollows and whatever pulls I get from there. Um, here is a stack of recent game, inf uh, game informers. Um, I'm just a big fan of just gaming content, physical gaming content. Um, so like the Game Informer magazines, I used to have the, uh, uh, I think it was the original Xbox magazine uh, back in the day. And uh, what was the other one? Um, there was always Nintendo Power, but I could never afford it as a kid. So it was one of those things that I just appreciated from afar. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just, I enjoyed uh, just any kind of gaming magazine. Um, here is our one short, well, my one short box uh, that holds most of my comics. Um, I probably have a whole stack that also needs to be filled in, uh, in another short box in another room. Um, and then I'll have a whole bunch of collected edition graphic novels and omnibuses, but this is basically just holding all of my single issues. Uh, and this one is packed to the brim. Um, and I definitely need to get a second one. Uh, there was a Moon Knight one that came out not too long ago that I really want to pick up. Um, but uh, just trying to keep an eye out for that when it comes out. But here are some of the recent reads that I've been reading. So Dark X-Men, um, picked that up the other day. Uh, Exterminators was actually a good uh, read. Um, so that was pretty fun. The complete set of uh, the Jean Grey series from Fall of X. And then a random Incredible Hulk 316. Um, just good good stuff. Uh, and like I said, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Marvel, DC, uh, some independent stuff too. Uh, there is a Super Nintendo. Um, I'm blanking on the name, but it's basically a Super Nintendo console, um, but uh, made from an off-brand company, but just plays Super Nintendo games. Um, and then down here is kind of some loose stuff. Um, some extra Funko Pops, uh, TARDIS, uh, nine, uh, the Ninth Doctor with a banana, um, and uh, Adipose. Um, shoot, I'm blanking on his name, but uh, yeah, just, yeah, that guy right there. And then uh, this was from a Funko Pop advent calendar. So these are all the guys just put together on a display there. And then right down here is a small assortment of our DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, so we have uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai on uh, DVD there. We have probably about the first half of Dragon Ball Super, a lot of Doctor Who stuff. This is basically all of the, no, not all of the new Who, but most of the new Who. Um, I don't think we have the 13th Doctor here. I thought, I thought we had one season, but yeah, actually we do have, uh, we do have the 12th series right there at the bottom. That's the, uh, actually, and the 11th series. Wow, I forgot about that. We just never got around to watching them. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're actually pretty behind on Doctor Who, uh, but we did see the recent specials and uh, those were interesting. Um, and then we have some more uh, movies over here. Um, and over here are just some extra boxes from opened premium collections. Uh, and then this here is basically our kind of uh, statue uh, bookshelf. So a lot of stuff here. Got my boy Nightwing, uh, Batman Hush. I absolutely love this one. The colors and just the attention to detail is just really, really awesome. Uh, and then some of these are kind of mixed in with, with toys. Like we got this Green Lantern toy and uh, yeah, it was like a dollar <laughs> at a con. Um, a Superman uh, McFarland toys there. Uh, an awesome Moon Knight figure. Um, I will try to link as much of this stuff in the description down below. Um, but yeah, there's an awesome Moon Knight figure right there. Uh, Sweet Sentinel and uh, Wolverine. Uh, normally I would keep the pops in a pack, but um, I wanted to get this so bad, but I didn't want to spend like the $50 or whatever it was brand new. And so I got a used version um, off of Amazon and the box was completely torn up. Uh, so I just threw out the box and just have these guys on display here. And I actually really like having just this particular uh, Sentinel just right here at the top. It's just really awesome. And then this is uh, is actually pretty crazy. So 
um, for Free Comic Book Day earlier this year. There was a comic book shop that we went to and uh, we were just going around looking at the stuff and then they had a cool sale on uh, statues and I think it was like 40% off of statues. Um, and there was this statue in a box and at the time I didn't know anything about statues, uh, but the price on it on the, the tag was $40, which is insane. Uh, but the tag said $40. And uh, when I brought it up uh, to, to ring it up, and I had no idea about prices of statues or anything like that, um, he actually said, you know what, let me just give you an extra discount. I'll do 50% off. So I got this Captain America statue for $20. And uh, it was more, it is worth more than $40. So not a crazy amount more, but just, just cool that I was able to get it. I don't know. And uh, yeah, I just really enjoyed uh, getting that. And then I have a Sam Wilson right here. Captain America, looking forward to his movie coming out uh, later this year. Uh, we have an Ultron right there. We have some Transformers back there from the dollar store, just chilling back there. Uh, and we have an Iron Man right there that lights up and basically turns himself off after about 10 minutes or so. Um, and then here is our Dragon Ball Z stuff here. So we have a really awesome uh, Vegeta statue. This was like 20 bucks and it's really nice, good quality, and it's heavy too. Um, so this is uh, really, really awesome. If you are a fan of Vegeta at all, you definitely have to get this. Um, he also comes with an alternate head that lights up. Um, there's a little light bulb that you can put in there. And so you can literally have you know him glow Super Saiyan, which is so awesome. Uh, got a Kid Buu, a Gotenks, and uh, Trunks back there. We have Goku in his chilled, uh, just, just chilling. And we have a Bulma signed by Tiffany Vollmer. Um, that was uh, really awesome to meet her and get that signed. Uh, and then also we have a Star-Lord, a Beast, Cable, um, Doctor Strange, Doctor Doom holding it down back there, and uh, Doctor Fate probably the three sickest doctors in existence just chilling right there uh i got a namor a uh, yeah namor writing the uh, the orca uh with the sinister six uh planning on trying to get the uh, complete set there and then just some extra tins back there and then here are some nice pictures that we've gotten over the years um so i got this really awesome just avengers thing here um i think it was from like a ross or a tj maxx or something like that um and i've been trying to find if there's like a dc version of it as well just to kind of have it you know parallel you know uh, off to the side in comparison um, but i'm just not able to find one um but then uh but yeah just it's, it's awesome and it's kind of 3d too um i don't know if you can kind of tell but basically the like captain america here is like kind of sticking out past this blue background um and then the iron man the head is what's sticking out and then his body is what's part of the background there i don't know if you can kind of you can kind of tell from this angle um and then same with uh, spidey's face same with thor's face so it's just yeah really really cool stuff there um a signed a uh, picture of 17 and 18 signed by their English voice actors. So we have Chuck Huber and uh, Meredith McCoy. Um, and yeah, it was really awesome meeting both of them, getting that signed. Uh, they were at a con at a booth right next to each other and uh, we were able to get them signed the same day. Um, and so yeah, just uh, awesome to meet them. Uh, and then this was a really awesome, ooh, I don't know if it was a birthday gift or, I, th hmm, I think it was a birthday gift uh, earlier this year that my wife got for me uh basically it is uh vegeta balma and two little trunks <laughs> uh, but basically to be our kids um we have a six-year-old and a three-year-old uh and so yeah just really awesome that my wife got this she got this off of etsy i believe uh, and so if i can find the name of the uh the artist that made it uh then i will definitely have that link down below uh, but it's just really awesome to have that uh, vegeta is my hands down my favorite character in Dragon Ball and yeah uh, just super super awesome and sick Vegeta and Trunks just best people in Dragon Ball in my opinion uh, and then this really really awesome 
uh, Thor picture right here signed by Sergio Cariello. Um, I don't know if I mispronounced that, but yeah, basically uh, even superheroes need a savior. Literally Jesus giving Thor Mjolnir. Awesome. Chef's kiss. And then moving over to basically the main setup. So we have a Samsung TV right here. We have some light bars over here. I'll have these stuff linked in the description down below. Uh, we have an Xbox Series S, uh, a uh, two terabyte um, SSD right there, along with a Sega Genesis uh, Model 2, I think that is, uh, and then a PS5. Uh, the original, you know, fat PS5 disc edition. See that disc edition showing right there. Um, and yeah, just super, super awesome to have that. Uh, moving on over, we got some more Dragon Ball Z stuff right here. So we have a Majin, uh, Majin Vegeta Saiyan, Saiyan Prince right there. Um, just super awesome to have that. This was something that was uh, bought at a con as well. Um, don't remember the artist, uh, unfortunately, um, but it was super awesome stuff. They had other like really cool etched stuff. Um, and if you can't tell, this is literally one sheet of wood that is, um, or at least this face plate here is a sheet of wood. And then there's the thicker sheet of wood back here. But this sheet of wood here is literally just etched with Majin Vegeta. Um, just super, super sick and uh, just awesome stuff right there. So, uh, and then a really awesome poster of Goku with Shenron and the seven Dragon Balls. Super awesome to see that. Um, a sign that my uh, good friend, um, Adrian, uh, who is my co-host with uh, Ardently Tech, um, he basically made this welcome to new Asgard sign from uh, obviously you know new asgard at the end of endgame um so yeah or i don't know if it was at the end of endgame no, i think it was at the beginning of endgame when they went to find thor so yeah just awesome to have that sign there uh, and then some posters right here got a uh, super mario bros uh the amazing spider-man choose your hero boom 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 and then the force awakens the best uh new star wars movie in my opinion and then Eight was not my favorite at all, um, and nine was okay, but just it was just spending all of its time cleaning up the mess from eight. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, and then this is the desk that I do all of my editing from. So I am running a Mac Mini right back there, and uh, right here is a uh, Sony ZV-1F. That is my main camera that I use, um, along with a Movo mic clipped in at the top there. Um, so I'll either use that mic or the uh, Fine Fine A8 microphone. So between those two mics, any time you're hearing audio is from those two mics. Right now I'm just using a regular lavalier mic for this video. Um, and then a Scepter monitor right there with a the keyboard and all that stuff. There's my iPad. Um, fun fact, most of my videos prior to about two months ago were all edited from this iPad. Uh, and that's just a standard base uh, ninth generation iPad. Um, literally the base storage, nothing upgraded. And I was editing most YouTube videos from that. So uh, the barrier of entry to getting into YouTube and content creation is as big as you want it to be. So you can literally, you know, you can literally get into uh, YouTube with the devices that you already have. Most of my videos were also filmed using this iPhone that I'm recording with right now. This is an iPhone 13 mini. Um, you can literally get this for free from Verizon. Uh, you might even be able to get a 14 at this point from Verizon for free. So uh, yeah, just super awesome stuff. Um, and uh, there is a light, uh, the one light that lights me along with uh, the ceiling fan right there with no cover on it. <laughs> um, and then I use these lights as kind of background ambient lights um, and some storage over there to hold all of my other stuff. So I'll have like SD cards in there. Um, my gaming headsets go in there, uh, some other just wires and stuff like that. Um, and then I have some shipping supplies for when I ship out extra cards from my set. Um, so I have some extra cards there uh, that I use for giveaways. Uh, and then I have some other cards. They're actually not even over there. I don't even know why I'm going over there. Um, but I have some other cards actually in another room uh, that I use for my giveaway sets. Um, but uh, the new packs that I'm using now for giveaways is these uh, Mylar packs. 
um, they're pretty awesome. So, and then uh, we have some uh, more Pokemon cards to rip into over there. But uh, that is basically going to be it for the tour. Uh, oh, and we have a uh, Walking Dead um, kind of poster thingamajig right here. Um, oh, and uh, actually, let me go back up here. Um, so we have, as far as pops, I uh, got a Turbo Man, some more Game of Thrones. Uh, we have some Disney stuff here, a Baymax. That one glows in the dark. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, and then we have some Doctor Who stuff. Um, it was just such a blast to go into FYE and get all of these different Doctor Who things. Um, it took me way too long to get this Nightwing pop right here. This has been out for a little while and I only just recently got it and Nightwing is my favorite DC character of all time. Um, and uh, just recently got this Superman pop right here. Um, just, just a really awesome pop. Um, I don't know, just something about it. It's my favorite Superman pop. Um, I was not interested in getting anything Superman. Um, and then I saw that and I just instantly wanted it. It just, something about it just looks super classic and awesome. So got that. Um, and then some other stuff here. Uh, my wife and I are big fans of uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So we have um, as much as we could get from there. There's some other ones that we're missing. Um, and then there's obviously some from the original Full Metal Alchemist uh, run that they did like greed and lust and stuff like that uh, that we should uh, be picking up as well um, but yeah uh, we're just super big fans um, my wife is a massive fan uh, probably a bigger fan than me um, and that's saying a lot because it is my second favorite anime second only to the first anime that I can't even think of a name to it um, kind of a confusing story for that I'll I'll explain that in another video. Um, but yeah, she's a super big fan of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, she uh, has read the manga. Um, she has watched the show twice. Um, she's just, just an avid, avid fan of anything Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, and then also just big fans of Werewolf by Night. So we have the werewolf and then an older Elsa Bloodstone pop right there. And then some empty pops right there because our kids are playing with those. Um, and we have some other pops that they're playing with too. Um, but those boxes are just not in here at the moment. So uh, let me just kind of do a quick back up and I will show you as much as I can the rooms. Let me go into wide angle. And this is our room. And uh, so my wife will usually sit in the rocker here and then I will usually just use my desk chair, spin it around and we'll usually watch uh, a movie or, um, you know, card openings in here. We'll just do, just, just hang out in here and just have a blast. So that is our room. Really appreciate you watching. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. All right, thanks so much for watching. And if you want to see anything more about the collections that we have here, definitely drop a comment, let me know down below. And definitely check out this video right here. But if you're not a fan of this, you're really gonna like this one. I'll catch you in those videos. Peace.